USPS just dropped this package off. This is the Night Pager risers for the R34. So these are obviously used, they're discontinued, old school kind of JDM part. Uh, so I got these off the guys in the groups. And all of these are, these are actually like a riser plate that go between your factory OEM wing. Like actually, they're gonna go right here. So we're gonna take these bolts out. One, two, three, four, they're five millimeter. We got the other side to do. And then inside there's three big ass screws. We're gonna take those out as well. And we're gonna install this riser in between there. Let me open this up for you guys real quick. Okay, I'm gonna open these up really careful for you guys. Um, actually more careful for me. I don't wanna damage the car. So really simple product. It gives it uh, quite a bit of lift. Actually, we can measure these in a minute. All right, so these are just a, sh just a little bit shy of two inches. One of the things with the GTR that has bothered me since day one is that it the visibility on the GTR is just completely different. So follow me along, I'm gonna take these off. I'll give you guys the process and uh, real simple, easy install. I'll give you guys some tips on where it's gonna get difficult. All right guys, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get these bolts, these Allen keys out from underneath here. So these are held in by a five millimeter. So I broke them all loose with this and then I'm actually using this little bit right here. I'm taking all the bolts out from underneath, five millimeter. So I'm taking them out with this. I broke them all loose with this regular Allen key. So we're going underneath here and we're taking these out, all these. So now that all these are actually out, I'm gonna be able to lift the wing up. It might be a little bit stuck on here just because of time. Okay, this one's not bad. So now I'm just pulling this spoiler actually off. Very careful, this is quite expensive. So now here what I'm gonna do is we need to break these loose and you can use a Phillips screwdriver, make sure you get the really large head. Uh, but what I actually am gonna do is I am going to break these loose with this and then I have a ratchet that's specifically set up to fit into this drive so I can just get more leverage to break these loose. And they are tight. Okay, and after I got them broken loose, I can actually go through and do it with a drill. So I'm gonna apologize now, guys. My camera keeps overheating, but this is what we're putting in. And then the bottom has the two alignment holes. So we're really just putting that there, putting this back in place exactly how it was. And then we're putting these down through. So we're literally threading into the same thing. We just have these bolt extensions here. These are gonna be five millimeter because they are different now. So guys, I went through and tightened these up. Um, my battery keeps uh, turning off. It's really hot here in Vegas, about 110, probably at least outside. Uh, these are four millimeter versus the fives that we put on before. So I'm gonna go through and get this side done for you guys real quick. Um, super simple, I'm gonna take these off with a screwdriver head real quick. Now I do have a set, a uh, carbon set on the way from Japan. So I found these available on Marketplace and I stepped right up to them. I think these normally come black. It looks like he might've painted these or they came painted. These probably been passed down a couple times. So again, this is about a two inch bump. This is not taking me long at all for install. We're good. So the spoiler is a lot taller. All right, so this is holding up. You can see like the quality is really good. The fitment, I mean, the spec, I guess you'd say, is spot on. I mean, this mark is here. This mark is from just the old one hanging over, kind of like how this one is. But fitment's good. Color's off, but it's not crazy. But I actually think I'm gonna be able to see through the window a little bit better. Uh, we're going out tonight to do some photos. A guy in town from Cali, so I'm super excited to get these on. I do like that they just kind of flow back, you know? The superior ones are gonna be a little bit taller than this and they're gonna kick it back even further. So I'm super happy, they look really good. Right, guys, so it's been a couple days. I wanna give you my opinion on this and gonna give you a little bit of uh, just some extra wide footage instead of what you saw in the house in my garage. I couldn't get back far enough and stuff. So I love this. I am actually taking it off. My carbon pieces did come in. So, but I just wanted you to see it. You can see the extensions there. 
but it, it's it's awesome for the view and stuff like that. Let me see if I can get in the car and kind of show you guys. But uh, yeah, in the mirror, you can really like see now. So I'm just looking back, you know, on it is really, really good. So I, I like it quite a bit. Uh, I highly re recommend these if you guys can find a set. Um, I love the angle. Keeps this on the side. So close out this video. I'm gonna install the carbon fiber ones from Superior Auto. Try those out. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm actually about to do that right now. So uh, yeah, watch that video too.